Okay, so we get this show on the road. B, what were you going to say? I stopped you in mid-sentence. Hi, Bobby. How are you? <laughs> Is Bobby your guest? Yeah, she's one of my guests. Nice. Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry, I'm, I'm, Hi, Bobby. I'm recovering as well, so I, I don't feel comfortable being um, uh, on screen right now, but I'm happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation, B. Well, we're glad you joined us. Yes, I love you any kind of way, Bobby. <laughs> and I, know, I know that is so true, B. That is so true. I love you too. <laughs> There's Richelli. How are you? Another one of my coaches, mentors. You're on. You're on uh, mute. <laughs> I was gonna say, I just need to apologize because I only have 30 minutes today, but I wanted to pop in and say hi because one of my meetings could not be rescheduled. But oh, no. I'm so glad to see everybody. Well, in the members only Facebook page, you will be able to see um, our recording of the meeting. So oh, that's awesome. It. Yeah, so you can kick back with your coffee and just uh, just watch it. So it's really nice. That's okay, awesome. so we'll get started. Um, welcome, everybody. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about our benefits because I'm wanting to make sure you know fully about them. Um, so you're utilizing them. I know that there's a good portion of you that aren't really utilizing what you could get from the membership. And that, um, believe it or not, <laughs> that keeps me awake at night sometimes. I know it's kind of <laughs> weird, but it, re it really does. So, you know, for the 65 bucks a year, a little over $5 a month, you get a fantastic array of, of benefits. And it's, um, it's uh, from the introductions that you get uh, to get in front of the membership twice a month and introduce yourself. And um, we have great ed two great educational meetings a month where um, we have great people like B and Richelli and Marion, and uh, that's just to name a few, Lindsay. Um, we also have, um, you know, your profile on the Facebook page. And, you know, a lot of people can go on the Facebook page. You don't even have to be a member. I'm not the Facebook page, but the web, you can go on and check out the members and see who they are and stuff. So people are seeing you. Um, you also um, have access to the mobile app. So there's a mobile app you download to your phone and then you can, anybody can look you up by putting in the type of business you are or your name. Um, there's a lot of spotlights that we do for each other on PWN. So you get a lot of great recognition on our Facebook pages. Um, I'm even starting to do video spotlights as some of you seen in Carol uh, for Carol Young Skincare. Uh, so when I'm visiting your business, I'll be videoing and we, I have um, uh, my marketing director, he edits them very nicely and stuff. So that's always good. Um, you have the ability to market through monthly sponsorships on the website, so people are you're visible. Um, and a, a lot of people don't know this, but you have uh, the ability to send out two email blasts to the membership per month. It's a little tricky, and probably um, I would uh, you would need some help from Jody, but you can do it, and you can send out you know great pictures on it and stuff, and that way you get in front of people through their their e emails. Uh, how do you do that? I'm sorry, what was that? How do you do the email blast? How do you do the email blast? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, can we just do it and just email people? I, I don't understand. I've always had my marketing um, do it for me, but you go and you cut and you paste and then you blast it out to the membership. Oh, uh, okay. Probably so through constant contact. Not like you have to have someone else do it for you. Okay. To email yeah, them. through constant contact. So also you have the ability to collaborate mastermind um, and mastermind with different members. So as some of us set up, we set up groups of four or five women. We get on and we mastermind with each other. Um, you can also be a part of the team um, by volunteering on committees. So there's lots of great stuff that maybe you're not thinking about in your membership that I want you to give thought to. So with that said, I'm gonna turn it over. First, I'm going to get Marion. Marion. I just wanna remind you all to another benefit is you can be on the Friday Ask the Expert. Uh, so every Friday at 1230, I interview a member and I have one spot open in April. So if you want to take that spot, then send me a little. <laughs> Rochelle, you want to do that? Okay, I'll send you nice. some. Fill out. Great, thanks, Teresa. 
-hmm. You're welcome. Sorry, I made this list before Marion um, Marian birthed that. Um, so that wasn't on there. Apologies. So I'm going to turn this over to Tammy, and she's going to take a portion of the meeting. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for attending today. So today, our for the month of March, our uh, March sponsor is Julie Schnitzer, and she owns Adagal Fitness. And she, I don't think she's with us today, but um, she's also providing our raffle prize today, which is um, valued at a little over $100. And it's a one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching session with her. So if you want, you can go to the website and buy some raffle tickets. They are um, $20 will get you 35 tickets, $10 gets you 13, $5 gets you six tickets and otherwise it's a dollar for one ticket um, and again you can go to our website and purchase those tickets and at the end of um, at the end of our program today we'll announce the winner on our roulette wheel and I think Bank is going to do some new member introductions next nice and Megan you want to welcome the new members Yes, so my name's Megan. I am the PWN 2021 membership chair. And uh, B, thank you for joining us today. I'm very excited for your talk and bringing your guests. So new guests, welcome. Uh, we actually do have a new member this month. Her name is Dr. Maluna Fausch, although she will not, she could not join us today. She is the owner of Pitch Perfect Executive Speaking. She actually just moved into the area of Monterey about a month ago. So she is hitting the ground running. So um, definitely connect with her. That's how we got so far. Nice. So um, yes, a lot, we have members from all over the nation. So um, it's not just a local thing. Um, so you're welcome to join us. Um, okay, Tammy, do you wanna do your member introduction? You need to unmute yourself. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll do member introductions. I'm going to go around. And one of the things that we would like you to say is obviously your name and your business, but also how um, PWN and our members can help you with your business. So we'll start off with Jody. Hi, everyone. I'm Jody Royer, and I'm your PWN technology chair. So reach out to me if you need any support with the website or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, my business is Monterey Marketing 360, and I help small businesses grow into national and international businesses by attracting clients on the internet. So um, one thing I'm doing right now is I'm offering something called birthday marketing, and I need from people, uh, from PWM, just basically go on my website, check it out, and if you know somebody who has a, like a restaurant or a spa or somebody who's really needing to attract clients, physical clients to get in their businesses now, I can help them for a very reasonable cost um, because it's a thing I just developed over this COVID time that's really benefiting and it's a low cost solution. B, go ahead and tell us about your business. Hi, I'm B Baylor with B Baylor Coaching and I love working with women who are stuck in, six, in stuck to 2,000 to 3,000 and trying to get their business to six figures. So we develop a plan that really push you over the edge to get you going and making the kind of money that you deserve. Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Reem and I'm your 2021 president. And I'm also the president of Disaster Cleanup Specialists. Flooring America's Floor Store USA and Cypress Cabinets. And what I need support in PWN is I, I would believe more posting on Facebook so we can get that collaboration going. Thank you. Marion. Hi there, I'm Marion Gellatly uh, with Powerful Presence. And if you are somebody that goes to your closet every morning and you stop and you stare and you get frustrated with what to wear, I'm your go-to person. I'm a speaker, I'm a mentor, I'm a cheerleader for my clients, especially those that have less than perfect bodies and might even be curvy just like me. 
I've uh, learned over the last 25 years how to take care of that situation. So uh, it's all about bringing joy to someone and to have them feel comfortable in their own skin. What would I want more from PWN? Um, gosh, I feel like I, I'm so enriched by the group um, and love being part of the group. But I think like Teresa, maybe sharing one another's posts more uh, so that I have something coming up. As a matter of fact, step into spring. And so if you see that post, then go ahead and share it out to your friends. I'd really appreciate that. And I'm your PWN vice president for this year. Thank you. And my wonderful, happy gay. I have moments. <laughs> my name is Gabe Friedman. I'm, uh, my business is GC Friedman and Associates. I call myself the happiness coach and I'm the 2021 program chair for PWN. And um, I think I would like from the group, especially Betty Winthrow to say, hey, when was the last time you wrote a blog? <laughs> so that I would start writing more posts. <laughs> Daniel. have to remember to unmute myself. Daniel Philpa <laughs> with I Know So Financial and Health Coaching Centers. And this year we are committing not, not only to have small businesses survive, but they're going to thrive. So we coach, mentor, and uh, sometimes just plain outright consult to make a business less stressful for you so you can live the lifestyle you want and have your business earn the income you want it to. Sandra? You're on mute. Mute, okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My business is Wonderful Super Spotter, Spot Remover. And um, I want to say that uh, it has no odor because it has no harsh chemicals in it. So it's very powerful and uh, what P PWN can do for me right now, uh, the, the women can ask for samples. I have wonderful little spray top samples now. I'm very excited. And I uh, want to say that we have many fans. They're raving fans. <laughs> I love this music here. Anyway, thanks to everybody. How about your icebreaker item, Sandra? And uh -huh. we can get one from you either, Daniel. What, what was the icebreaker, I thought? Can PWN support you? That's how it can, by perhaps um, asking me for more than one sample and then distributing one or two to neighbors, friends, relatives. Yeah, a little something like that. Thank you. Megan. Hello, my name is Megan Mertz. Again, I am the 2021 membership chair for PWN. I'm also part of Teresa Reams companies, which includes Disaster Kind of Specialists, Floor Store USA's Flooring America, and Cypress Design and Build for all your flooring designing and cabinetry needs. And what PWN can do to support in that way is sharing each other's, again, Facebook, but getting to know one another to know what business can relate and how we can interact in a way of using each other's services by getting to know each other through the wild apricot app and you know utilizing that benefit in that way to just know your know the member and know their business and you know get a referral out of it thank you uh, beth hi i'm beth pawanda and my company is bp uh, insurance Sur solutions and i sell medicare insurance plans i help people navigate the process of understanding what medicare is original medicare and then uh, choosing the best supplement to go with it based on you know their location where they live their doctors their budget their prescriptions their drugs and things like that so a good referral for me is someone who is turning 65 or as is is retiring they've been 65 for a while like maybe they're 68 or so and they're they're retiring and they're coming off an employer plan or somebody who just wants a checkup 
but also lately I, you know, I really want to grow and expand my business. And, you know, we all know that referrals and leverage is the best way to do that. And so I've actually been focusing on reaching out to financial planners and estate planners and people that would be centers of influence and referral partners for me, because they also tell me that they need someone that they can refer to. And so I'm helping them. So if you know anybody who's in the financial services industry that, um, you know, would like to talk to someone about Medicare that I can talk to their clients and give seminars and things like that. So that would be great. Thanks. Lindsay. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Horton and I am the 2021 communications chair for PWN and also the owner of Social Monterey. So I help small business owners save time, ditch the overwhelm and build thriving online communities with social media services. Um, how you guys can help me would be, I guess to echo a couple other thoughts here, but definitely, um, share and engage and participate in our posts on Facebook. So um, whether that's sharing about your own business, sharing others, but it helps us all. And if you ever have any questions about social media, um, please don't ever hesitate to send me a message or reach out. I'd love to answer them for you. Christine. Hi, I'm Christine Cristobal. I'm the owner of Century 21 Showcase Realtors. I have five locations in Monterey County, Santa Cruz County, and San Benito County. So I just make your home buying a dream. There you go. Put you, I am a matchmaker. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry to hear about the ladies that have had caught COVID. My advice to you is get out in the sun as much as you can, because believe it or not, that really helps you to feel better quicker. And um, what PWN could do for me is if you know anybody wanting to buy or sell, you know, even if you're in Texas or wherever you are, we're a global company and we can help them out. So, and keep posting good posts. I'm looking for all the good posts. And I, oh, I'm also the fundraising chair. Did I say that? There you go for 2021. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> Laura Beth. Hi, uh, Laura Beth Messimer. I uh, work with an organization called Stride Solutions. What we do is we uh, work with small businesses, medium-sized businesses, and even large ones, all the way up to the size of Nike and Coca-Cola, and we find funds, money in their businesses that they didn't know they had via tax incentives and tax credit. So what P, uh, PWN can do for me is um, refer me to your favorite restaurant owner who, um, who has been struggling through COVID, been able to keep it open, because he's got money waiting for him simply by the fact of hanging in there. So, um, and also reach out to me. I'd love to tell you more about what I do. Betty. Hi, um, I'm Betty Withrow and I'm the Writer's Launchpad, which as you can probably tell, it means that I service businesses by providing writing services to take the load off of people who are overwhelmed by their copy, their time crunch, their lack of desire to do their own writing <laughs> for whatever reason. So I, I take that and, uh, and take it away. So don't not have time, have me. I will do your blog, your email series, your web copy, your intro, your business bio, your PowerPoint decks, whatever you need. And also I do collaborate with authors to put together their books. So a good referral for me is a business owner, or entrepreneur, or, a, or even a larger business who needs that done. Uh, particularly marketing services are great collaborators for me. And so if you know somebody who has a marketing agency um, that is looking for backup, because a lot of times they get stuck writing the copy, I would love to have a conversation with them. So that's what, you know, anybody in PWN, um, you know, I, I, I really am grateful for this organization and thank you for being here. Debbie. Hi, I'm Debbie Campbell and I am an international best-selling author now, a speaker and an entrepreneur with Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. And um, what helps me is referrals for ladies that wanna to get together and have fun with their friends and or I like to partner with people doing fundraising as well from my Touchstone Crystal business. So you can reach out to me and ask me how that works. Thank you. 
Michael. Hello, everybody. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, keep forgetting that we have a online meeting. Um, so uh, the name, uh, I'm a partner with Daniel and my mom, Rosalie, uh, in our company is called I Know So Financial and Health Coaching Centers. We do help businesses with their businesses. A lot of people, when they, when they think about that, they go, so what do you really do? So we work in uh, uh, actually six areas. One of the areas is coaching the business to success. Another area is protection. And there is protection. We may help you out with insurance. We may help you out with entity structure. We may help you out with trust services. Uh, for for our, uh, some of our large clients that have multiple properties and don't want to be a landlord anymore, there are special trusts that we can help set up for you so that you could put the money, uh, you could put the business, I mean, the, the property into the trust, sell the property and not have to roll it over and, and uh, lower your taxes. Uh, also, so we protect, what do we protect? We protect your income. And so in areas of taxes, uh, we do taxes, we do bookkeeping, we do tax structure, we do a lot of stuff in taxes. Um, we do payroll. Next uh, other area we work with is credit. And so we work with mortgages, business loans. Uh, there's a lot of uh, seniors out there that are struggling on their mortgages and they're making ends meet, uh, but they can't really eat that much or they can't do anything. And so one of the things that we do work on also are uh, besides uh, regular mortgages, Forward mortgages. We also do uh, reverse mortgages. We also do SBA loans, and then we do different type of investments, whether fixed assets or liquid. And then we, if you build your wealth, you got to understand you got to stay healthy in order to spend your wealth on yourself, or versus spending all your money on your health. So we also work in that area too. So that's just a little bit about what we do. Most people, when they sit down with us and find out what we do, they go, I didn't know you did that. <laughs> so when you think about money, talk to us. Bobby. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the opportunity to uh, share who I am and what I do. My name is Bobby James. I have an event planning company by the name of Jams Connections, and we have a social good component to what we do. And basically what that means is when you hire us, partner with us, attend an event, uh, donate to us because we also are a 501c3 nonprofit. Um, all those things allow us to offer our event planning services to the under-resourced nonprofit organizations because those of you that talk about fundraising, or understand the challenge of nonprofits, you know how important it is to get funding for them. And so we offer this for an opportunity to have fun, a chance to feel good while doing good. Thank you. Inez. Inez. Good afternoon, I was muted and I thought I heard my name, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> I am Inez Bracey, Coach Inez, and I work with women over 50 in redeveloping, restructuring their life in a way that satisfies them completely at this time and live their life out in the dream that they had always had, but were, were afraid to go for it. So a good referral for me is a woman over 50 who is at a crossroads in her life and trying to decide which way to go. I work with her on getting clear on the direction she desires to take and I work with her on going in that direction to fulfill her dream. Thank you. Thank you. I think I have everybody. Um, my name is Tammy Jones. I'm also the treasurer for PWN. I'm a financial advisor with Edward Jones. And I would say as women and business owners, um, often we neglect ourselves um, in handling our finances and looking kind of at the big picture. And so I help clients um, kind of get started and figure out where they need to start. Um, what type of retirement plan should they be setting up? Should they have some type of estate plan? 
Um, so I really look at kind of the bigger picture of things. It provides some direction for you. Um, ways that you can help me, I post um, on my LinkedIn and Facebook pages, educational articles. So it'd be great if you could share those. Um, but also if you know somebody that's kind of stuck and are not really taking care of their own financial situation and not really sure what to do, um, I'd love to have a chat with them and um, be able to provide some guidance for them. Thank you. Okay, so uh, let's go on to Gage. She's going to introduce our showcase. Okay, today our showcase, we have our PWN member showcase, Jody Royer. Jody is an internet architect and digital business builder. She loves technology, design, and innovation. Jody helps small businesses grow more profitable using the power of the internet. She loves helping her clients achieve outside the box, big challenging goals. Work with Judy, Judy, I'm sorry, work with Jody. And in six months, you'll need a telescope to look back to where you came from. Welcome Jody, our PWN's technology chairperson for 2019 and owner of Money Marketing 360. Thank you, Gail. Yes. Um... Let's see later, some things coming up on my screen, sorry. Um, I am the technology chair and my business is Monterey Marketing 360. I just rebranded to make clarity happen for me because I was unclear uh, with my message to the world and uh, I needed to rebrand myself. So my gift to you guys today is uh, technology has never been a problem for me. I've been an innovator. I come from a very, uh, entrepreneurial, techie, architectural design, engineering background uh, in my family. And so I never thought that I couldn't do anything. And the mindset that helped me get where I am today had to do with, I believe that I was tapped in to something greater than myself that was always going to support me and help me. And this thing knew everything and was willing to share it with me. I call it God. You can call it energy or the universe. It really doesn't matter but it's available to all of us. So part of my challenge with my clients is to get them to stop saying things about themselves that's not true and start agreeing with the universe about the magnificence that you are because it really helps me help my clients to help them succeed when they start talking better about themselves. And one of the things I want you guys to stop talking about today, commit to me today is stop saying, I'm not good at technology because technology is your servant. So I never wanna hear that come out of your mouth ever again. Do you, hands up, agree? Technology is my servant and I can receive all the knowledge and information I need right here, right now to do exactly what I need to do. That mindset's gonna put you miles ahead of everybody else and that's that telescope. Just a thought like that to say, I'm not gonna be afraid of technology anymore. I'm done, I'm breaking up with the fear I have access to infinite intelligence. It's all around me and it's gonna serve you every day. And when you come to me with that mindset, I can help you succeed even better. So thank you, Gay, for your introduction. You can find me online at montereymarketing360.com. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. that was great. And now, we have our feature presentation, the woman we have all come to hear today. B. Baylor is a high performance coaching expert with 15 years of coaching experience. B helps women propel their businesses to soar. She works with high achieving women entrepreneurs who are sick of living in fear and ready to take their business to the next level. B inspires and educates women using innovative approaches that helps them set goals tap into their power and thrive. She is a two-time warrior and survivor of breast cancer and a major heart attack. Her memoir, Rise Up, Take Charge, Overcome, Succeed, reflects her own personal emotional journey. She will share her motivations for inspiring and teaching women to discover their truths on both an intellectual and personal level. B's favorite quote is, the biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Ladies, I present B. Baylor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Gay. That was an amazing introduction. Also, um, thank you, Teresa, 
for allowing me to be a part of this amazing opportunity and a beautiful, beautiful platform to all the PWN community. You guys rock. I got to get to know you ladies a little bit more. So today I brought my calm chocolate. I don't want to share. They're halfway empty. <laughs> I also have my hemp for stress. I have my ginger tea. I also bought clinics in case you guys cry. <laughs> and we have no one who want to throw in the towel. <laughs> Let's get going, ladies. So my topic today is the emotional journey of women entrepreneurs. And I wanna share my story. I wanna make sure that today that you leave empowered, that I'm gonna give you some of my simple tips of how I live my life and how you deserve to live without limits in your lifestyle, in your business, and have that energy to keep going, because we all know that we want to just give up or throw in the towel, as I tell everyone, that cannot happen. So let me fast forward. Last year, around this time, and it's almost a year, isn't it, guys? It's almost a year that we shut down with the pandemic, and oh, what a beautiful time we had really thinking about, what am I gonna do now? What's gonna happen now? What else can I do with my business? So I just wanna say to you guys that last year around September, uh, while sitting in my house, I had a major, major heart attack. Hmm. It felt like something was crushing in my chest. It felt like an elephant was sitting in my chest. We had to activate 911. Actually, I tried to grab my keys to go and, <laughs> and drive myself to the hospital. Thank God, because I collapsed right there in the parking lot. So, so I just want to say to you guys, two days later, I had a scar from here all the way down, major open heart surgery, all four quads. And believe it or not, guys, they diagnosed, called it like the COVID heart because yeah, I was living an amazing life, overwhelmed, stressed to the hill, <laughs> you know, everything you could think of. I was trying to make ends meet just like we all did last year. So as a result, I'm in a better place. I still have a ways to go. I feel great. I feel wonderful. I'm back in the saddle and I'm doing some amazing things. So starting today, this is a new day. And who can relate that being an entrepreneur is an emotional journey. Raise your hands. Woo! I hear you. I understand. Uh, has anyone ever encountered an emotional setback in their business due to COVID? Wow. Me too. I can't see all you guys, but we had a lot of going on. We had a lot going on last year. There may have been people who cried, women who just said, I'm done, or you were just dealing with your business, your life, and OPS. And you guys can figure that out. <laughs> so there's no doubt that being an entrepreneur requires a lot of mental energy. God knows my poor heart <laughs> took on all of the mental energy. 
And it also comes with this highs and lows of excitement and fear. And everything sometimes comes down on you all at once. Would you agree? There are times when you just say, how can I do this? Am I going to win? Do I have to, you know, do more than what I want to do? And sometimes you start thinking, let me just close this business. How many of you guys have woke up in the morning or you wake up, you go downstairs and you sit at the end of the stairs, you don't even make it to make the coffee and you just burst into tears and you just sit there and you just think, or you're at your desk and you just go, oh my gosh, what the heck am I doing? And you were being nice about what the heck. <laughs> you realize what the heck am I doing? I know I have done that. I should just go get a, do a job. Are you hearing your husband going, so how much money is in the bank? And you're like, filch. And he's looking at you, now that don't make sense. And you're like, yeah, that don't make dollars either. Okay. <laughs> so you're like, what am I gonna do? How do I? get where I need to get. And you start contemplating like, what am I going to do? How am I going to uh, make this work? So today I'm going to share with you, and I hope you guys are keeping time for me. Today, I wanna take this time to really, really share with you that if you're contemplating on doing a side business, you have already a full time, you are an established business, you are making money, I understand it. I really, really want every last one of you guys to stay with me because I want to do a couple of things. First and foremost, I want to let you guys know some of the things I did that really helped me to get unstuck because I downsized. Yeah, I looked at this huge condominium that I was living in and I just said after my heart attack, around October and November, I started really thinking, I cannot go back to live the life that I was living. I got to do something different. So I started downsizing. I started with my closet. I started like pulling things down that didn't even fit. I don't know why, you know, it just didn't fit or it just, so it was given away. I started looking at shoes that I had never worn, I had furniture that just was cluttering. Then I thought even more, I said, just move to a, a one bedroom. Really? Yeah, just get rid of all of this. And that's exactly what I did, guys. I gave away everything. I got a small apartment and actually my grandson was my roommate. So I had to really think deeper. So I went out in November and purchased a two bedroom, two bath RV, because I really wanted to start working on my bucket list. Holy smoke, what was I thinking? You know, but then a major heart attack, three kids, eight grandkids. It was time for me to start living. I had done a lot for so many people, laid my life down, family, friends, business people. And I thought, yeah, I'll get an RV. Today, I am in my RV, <laughs> so this is where I'm doing business from. <laughs> so, oh yeah, this is where I'm doing business from. And when you make a decision, and Ines is on here because it just blew her away when I told her what I was going to do. And sometimes we just talk to talk, but not walk to walk. Well, like three weeks later, I go, here's my fifth wheel, here's my... Guys, I didn't even have a truck, okay? <laughs> I can totally find a man with a truck. So let's get that straight. Well, I love it that I assess my lifestyle. I assessed things that was an emotional journey, of emotional baggage, things that didn't make sense to me. I removed them out of my life. I kept thinking to like eight days in the bed, 
quadruple uh, bypass surgery, this big scar down my chest. I got to protect the Baylor going forward. I got to put me first. I got to do some things to balance. I had to make some major life changes. If I was going to stay an entrepreneur and stay in the game and live the life that I so well deserve and without limits, without boundaries, without having, what was this? You should be this. Yeah, I got rid of all the high heels and the short skirts and the two-piece suits, all that. I'm just living and being me. So grab your pen and pad. I want you to take some copious notes of what I'm gonna share with you today is going to help you to overcome the emotional journey and challenges that we all face. And if you men are in here, can you relate I know you guys could carry a lot of weight on your shoulders, but we women, we get tired, but we keep going. We're resilient. We're just have that to not, we have a desire to please our friends and family and make sure everybody know we are winners. And that wears you out right there. So I'm gonna share only six of my little tips that have saved my life and got me to looking like this after a major heart attack and open heart surgery. I, I think I look all right, don't I guys? <laughs> so number one, number one, stop and define yourself. Step into your joy and your true self. Some of you have been downplaying who you are. Some of you won't really step out in the forefront of being who you really, really are. You've been hiding behind closed doors. COVID-19 says you can come out. You had a chance to assess the strength in you, the courage in you, the tenacity, the resilience, so define who you are. When you get a job, the first thing you do is you get a job description. Then you get told what time to be there, what time to leave, when your lunch hour is, and how much work you got to put out. So when you become an entrepreneur, however, you decide yourself who you want to be. What are you starting? And why are you starting this business? What are the responsibilities? You need to know all of this. And when you ask yourself these questions, it does cause a lot of pressure. Like, whoa, wait, I'm just starting a business. I, you know, I'm eight to five, eight to 11, midnight, burning the midnight. Oh, I, I don't know if I asked for that. And so you really, you really need to have an understanding of what you're up against because you're gonna go down that rabbit hole of being stressed, worried, sick, fear, anxiety, and it weighs on your heart living with this. Number two, you end this baby by yourself. I know you told your friends, I know you told your husband and all your family, but you're solo. And it can be lonely, lonely, lonely in business. Who can relate? really lonely. And so, because you're, you're starting totally blank, you may have a template, you may have a business plan, but your business begins and it ends with you. You can't put it in anyone else's lap. You can't, you just, your husband's looking at you like, me and the kids are gone, we're out of here, we're on vacation. <laughs> you know, so you really have to know that you're in this by yourself. And I started thinking, I've been solo, single, solo, all of that through my race, my kids single. So I had to really think to myself that it just sounds good, but I need a little guidance. But before I can get guidance, I got to ask, right? I need a coach. I really, really 
think everyone ought to have the confidence to know that they're okay, but all they have the, should have the confidence to know that you need some help, that you cannot carry the weight and make it all the decisions in your business and you can't do it alone. You gotta talk about it. You gotta talk to some people. Hire a coach. If you haven't and you are wanting to go to the next level or rebrand or you're thinking about shifting, taking some of the stress off of you, get a coach. You guys have a lot of coaches in here. I love getting you guys straight too. You're on, I'm on number three. How am I doing on time? So number three, who in here, all of you ladies and gents, know how to manage stress versus emotions. Are they the same? Emotions are just energy in motion. Oh, so we're, I'm, so we've just been going, 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 just wasting energy, just pacing back and forth, not productive, not doing what you're supposed to be doing over here, doing this. Now you've jumped on another bandwagon. Now there's somebody else call you and you're doing that. And all of those emotions are just energy and motions. And it's affected our body and our mind. And so there's nothing good or bad or positive or ne negative about emotions. But when they start to take over you and take over your mind, you become aware that this energy it plays a day-to-day -day operation on us. So you have to stop because let me tell you what sets in. Doubt, Mrs. Doubt, always hanging out with B. Baylor. I, don't, I asked her if she had other friends. <laughs> Can she go somewhere else? But she seems to want to stay all day with me, which causes me to doubt what, who I am what I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to be doing. And then you get confusion. Sometimes I wake up in the morning confused and stay that way all day. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to be doing in my business? And I'm just all over the place. And Mr. Fear, not Mrs., Mr. Fear, always, always there to put, you down or stop you in motion or keep you from doing what you are called to do. It's a great intent on the body for entrepreneurs. And so I say that with the lack of guidance, the universe, hire a, a, a meditation coach, stress that comes with running a business it's next to impossible to avoid those feelings. So it's time that you take the time to breathe. Every day I wake up and incorporate meditation in my life. We, whatever that is to you, the universe has so much to give us. Who in here meditates? Who stops to take a break away from their business? Yeah, Teresa, you don't, you go get those facials, baby. You get those facials. Self-care. You first. You matter. And that's all I, I have to say that you just learn, manage the stress because it will manage you if you don't. And you need to be all in for this emotional journey that we're on. The number four, ladies, ask for help. Can you do that? You gotta listen to your body because your body says, stop. I need water, I need vegetables, I need something healthy in my body. And you gotta just stop kidding yourself that 
being an entrepreneur is easy. The pressure is overwhelming. And if you don't ask for help, what are you saying to your body? Don't let your business control you, ladies. That's, that's, that's what we have done in the past. You have to stop, pay attention, ask for help, hire someone that is an assistant. If your coach is there, she's still gonna require you to do your business, but she can give you guidance. If you say that your phone rings on the weekend, are you setting boundaries? Why is your phone ringing on the weekend? It shouldn't. That should be your time away that you spend with your family. So if you're asking for help, your, your hours should be set Monday through Friday, family on weekend. And if it's the opposite and the phone's ringing on the weekend, let's get that straight. You take charge, you take a breath, you answer the call, and you let people know at that time that I'm taking calls Monday through Friday. I, will, I would love to handle that Monday. Go to my calendar and uh, get you some time on my calendar and I would love to help you. Here's the big one. And Michael, you probably could help us with this, but it's money and emotions. They go together for me <laughs> because my emotions take over when I see my bank account and it's not where I want it to be and I can get emotional. <laughs> we don't know what else to say. So, but listen, when things go south, that affects the cash flow and the lifeblood of our business. And sometimes we have to look at what do I do? If the word comes up, I need to get a job. I, oh, my anxiety level goes off the chart. My emotions are all over. Just don't say that word. Go get a job because some of us have thought it or may have done it or you, you're thinking about it. So you really have to sit back, assess your business from top to bottom, look at your budget, look at your spending, Look at areas where you can improve. Look at all the courses that you've written and, and start getting them out there. Get with a marketing coach to figure out how you could generate some money on what you've already done, what's already in your repertoire. And you guys start utilizing that. Really think if your kids were hungry, I promise you, you're going to make a way to get them food on the table. So your business is hungry. You got to really think without the stress, without the emotions, how you're going to stretch without breaking the, yourself because your bank is broke. So you don't want to break yourself, but really start looking at and then just take that, work with an accountant, work with a, a, a budget coach, and just go back and interview yourself and say, what is it that I can do that will take away the emotions so that I can feel good about getting up, looking at my bank account without the emotions. And number six, oh, can we all just let our shoulders go Surrender. I had to do that, guys. I'm a recovering control. Control. Just want to control everything. I'm recovering, okay? I'm doing so much better today because I have learned to surrender. I wanted to make sure that I was in control of my business. But as I thought about last year, baby, you got to let some things go. This energy that you've been utilizing, trying to control everything around you, you have to let it go. Now take a moment and just really visualize yourself 
the boat, you're in it. And, you're, and the boat is turning around. And you're dropping the oars to the boat. Now picture yourself floating downstream. Mm. Don't try to dig back in that water and grab the oars if you really, really, really have to trust. You're being pulled gently. You're not, there's no effort. You're not pushing. There's nothing necessary on your part that you have to do. As you're just gently going downstream, you're breathing and you're saying, let go of the oars. And that usually is enough for some of us. When you do that, things go much smoother. You give up control and allow the universe, allow things to happen naturally, allow you to see them happen right before your eyes, to see people start calling you the, your leads. Everything you did last year, if you surrender this year and release all of that stress, you were never in control anyway. Let's just be nice about that, B. You were never in control anyway. So, because you stress yourself out. I know, guys, who does that? A heart attack, 63, and open heart, and a health conscious, a nurse. I know these things. So I had to assess the whole body and then I said, the universe, universe, I have given out so much. Can you give back to me? And the universe said, be only if you stop being a control freak. What? No. Or if you just let it go and let it happen, your business will flourish. Your business will prosper. A lot of times we mind other people's business or our friend's business? Are we all in mother nature's business? Who does that? I'd be in everybody's business sometimes. <laughs> they call me and I'm like, oh, I'll do that. I stopped off to be in someone else's business and that's not necessary. So I wanna say to you, Take time to care for your well-being, your business, or your business will take over you. Surrender equals complete acceptance of what is, plus faith that all is well, even without your input. And that is how I have overcome my emotional journey, living the life I so well deserve. I'm smiling, guys. I'm happy. I'm full of joy. I'm, there are no limits. I can go from campground to grant campground, town to town, and hang out, be in the, the company of people that are happy campers, do my business, see my family, be with my friends like I'm networking with this beautiful community. And this is how you overcome and don't let the business take care of you. I wanna offer you guys an opportunity to book a complimentary clarity session, 30 minutes complimentary to get clear of number one, defining you. I want to bring that go-getter out in you, that person that is, is a six, seven-figure earner. It's right there in you. And I want to really do the clarity because we can't go 
to number two, three. We can't do our business unless we're crystal clear about who we are, that we are utilizing the joy and the universe to be who we are. So please go to bit.ly forward slash Clarity Session 21. And, and just, just come with, hey, I just, you know, I had this idea and I want to get clear about it. I want to add this to my business. I want to rebrand. Um, I've been the helicopter chick for quite some time. So I'm having a clarity session um, with my web designers, my marketing team of how I can, what else can I serve? You see, right now I'm a warrior, so I can serve a lot of women. I've survived cancer. I've survived a heart attack, open heart surgery, bring it on. <laughs> I, can, I can listen, I can shift, I can do all of those things to have a better quality of life. And I think every woman deserves that. So I wanna take some questions. Oh, well, right, we're writing a little bit late. So what I would suggest is that anybody that have qu has questions that they would connect with you offline and um, they can either go to your website or I'm sure through, uh, if they don't know your email and they need it, they can connect with me. Uh, we just have one more thing I think to do before we go and I will give it back to uh, Tammy. But B, I wanted to thank you very much for presenting to us. I really enjoyed it. And I hope that you connect with people um, in the future. So Tammy. Thank you, B. We really appreciate you sharing your, your personal story too. Thank you very much. Um, and before we get to the raffle, um, I missed Stacy um, on the introduction. So I would like uh, real quickly for her to be able to um, introduce her business and how we might be able to help her. Stacy. Okay. No. And She's not coming on. So um, let's go ahead and do the raffle. Jody, do, do yes. you have, are ready to go? <laughs> yes. And um, so the people who have purchased raffle tickets, just so I know, I just want to make sure I've got all the people on the wheel. I've got Debbie Campbell, Teresa Reem, Sandra Collingwood, Julianne Wetke, and Sandy McGowan, who paid two $10 uh, raffles, but that actually gives you $20 towards 30 tickets. So you're getting 30. The $10 gets you 13. So Sandy, like, doubled down, and uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I want to say something real quick in case some, if, uh, some of you are getting ready to leave. Um, I, I would love to have a, a question and answer with the, and we usually stay on after the board, uh, board members that can stay on after it's over. So we can have time then if B's able to stay on a few minutes later. Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, are we ready? Oh, what's the raffle prize? Say it again. It's, um, it's valued at a little over $100 and it's a one-on-one -on -one fitness session with our March sponsor, Julie Schnitzer. Julie Schnitzer. And she can do it online too, so it, it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> She can do it over Zoom. That's a good question. We'll I, just say I yes. assume so. I assume so, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay. Yes, we'll we'll try to make it work for everybody because not everybody's. She can do it over Zoom. No worries. Right over Zoom. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I got to, sorry, I got to unshare this because I need to share the sound as well. I, there's a new thing at the bottom of share screen that says share sound and optimize for video clips. So you guys who are sharing your screen uh, know that there's like some new upgraded technology in Zoom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shuffle all these names. You can see I'm shuffling them around. I'm gonna just stop now and then I'm gonna spin this wheel and you're gonna see a winner. Here we go.
there you go. Awesome, very good. And our next meeting is April 7th and it's going to be with Anthony Garcia and he's gonna teach us some tricks on sales. Um, I talked to him via Zoom, Gay and I, and he's really, he's really sharp and he's, he's a lot of fun. So make sure you make it for that. So um, everybody have a good meeting. Happy that you came. Well, I'm thrilled that to be here with you. So stay on if you want to ask me a couple questions or just um, ask the board anything or just mingle a little more. And everybody can unmute themselves now. For sure. Can we get Stacy to introduce herself? She's off mute. Stacy? <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Hi, Hi, guys. <laughs> Uh, my name is Stacey Rorba. I um, am a nurse practitioner and the owner of Peninsula Globe Medical Spa. Um, crazy time to open. We just opened in October. So if the pandemic wasn't enough, running a business is keeping me superly sane. <laughs> um, and we do medical aesthetics here. We do Botox fillers, laser treatments. We have facials. Um, and we're right here in Monterey on El Dorado Street. And I'm excited to meet all of you ladies and be, thank you so much. That was wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you guys for all the love and support. <laughs> Who has a question for B? I want to know what it's like to drive around in a, a fifth wheel. <laughs> yes. I just, I just saw the movie Nomadland and I just want to travel the, the country. <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes, gay yeah, living a nomadic lifestyle can be so rewarding. See, we're so connected to the norm. And when you step out of being sticks and bricks and light bills and all that, that's what we're used to. There are a lot of women in the camping world that live a nomadic lifestyle. So yes, you have to hook this 39 footer up to a four door dually. And I can do all of those things. I prep this fifth wheel, uh, I pull in the slides, I get someone to help hook it up and take it away. Rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Oh my yeah, God. Isn't that a dream of a, a lot of us that we can be mobile in our business and just really take in a lot of different different things in our life while still running our business. It's, mm -hmm. it's a dream of, I know a lot of us on here. I think Ines, uh, Ines if you're on, I, I think you would say that it really shocked you that I, I took that that plunge because I felt like, boy, that sure that released the weight of, of me being in that arena of my family. Go, oh, poor B. Oh, don't do that. Don't go anywhere. I was going to fall into that trap if I hadn't just stepped away to do the unthinkable and live nomadic. That's exactly correct, B. I remember when we were talking and because I too am getting an RV and I've been looking at them and trying to decide, I know I'm not going to get a fifth wheel because I want one that I myself can drive, stay in and it's all self-contained and not even require having another car or anything, but it's, it's big enough to live in and small enough to be like a car. So I've been looking at some of those. So when B told me she had actually gotten hers, I was a little bit jealous. You know? <laughs> I still don't have mine, but I will be getting it. Thanks, B. Yes, thank you, Ines, because you definitely can live, um, you know, without the overhead and money is in the bank. And you just like, okay, I want to go here. I just took my RV out to my son's place, which he has about 20 acres. So I found the camp ground out by his house and stayed there and I hadn't seen the grandkids. So I want to see my grandkids, right? So I just picked up and went out there. I said, if you can't come to me, I'll come to you. I'll bring the house <laughs> <laughs> and my business. <laughs> nice. Um, 
do you want to give us just a quick rundown of what your clarity session entails? And I think, you know, we, we should take advantage of that. Absolutely. Uh, Teresa, thank you. So the first thing that comes up when I, you sit down with me is we remove all of the clutter that's in your head. We really sit down to take the heart. There's a lot of crying, there's Kleenex, because you have held on to a lot of people. You've held on of helping and supporting, and we're removing the heart for you to get crystal clear of who you are or, and, and who you've been to other people. And once you shed it, that full skin, and we talk about who do you really wanna be and how do you want to live? I wanna live joyfully, but I wanna be an entrepreneur. So I have to find the happy media. So there's five modules that I take you through. It's um, more than a 30 minute session, but we pick two of the modules that fit you. So we do like a little assessment because when I look at you, Teresa, there is something else that you need to give back to the universe and you've been holding out. And it's time you step up. It's in the top of your head. You know what it is. I do know what it is. <laughs> yes, I've been um, being nudged by my coaches on some certain aspects of that. Yes. It's a little clarity will get you. So it will flow to you that you're not making it happen. It's just going to flow. Everything you need is going to be given to you by the universe because you stay steadfast. That's great. Not th that's, that's really good that you gave us clarity about your clarity session because I think a lot of us was wondering what that involves. Yes. I thought we go really deep around the heart because we think in our mind what we want to do, but it's here. And this has to line up with this. Very intuitive work. Jody? The, um, the bit.ly link is not working. So if somebody just goes to your website and tries to contact you and lets them know where that they can, they can is that okay? Yes. yes. Bit.ly forward slash BRT sessions 21. So yeah, bbaylor.com okay. or bookme.name. Um, uh, bbaylor, you can get on my calendar. Um, I'll put all of that in the chat for you guys. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. She wants to put it out. 